now onto a subject that the people that know me get quite a bit of amusement out of. What I find attractive. Now, obviously I'm into guys, so this is going to be what I think is attractive on males. I might also talk about what I think looks good on females, but that's in a non-sexually attractive way. That's not an I want to date you with just a you look pretty good kind of a way. But basically, when it comes to males, what I like, there's two different kinds I like. I either like a rather young guy who's really, really, really thin, like I can touch his ribs and feel all the nodules down his spine, thin, and touch his high cheekbones and his pointy chin. I like my men really thin. Now, for both of them, I like really, really pale guys. <laughs> when it comes to hair, death ox. Or back combed hair is also pretty good, but death ox. I love death ox. Those are amazing. And having no hair on their head, you know, completely shaven, that can be pretty good looking too sometimes. But it also depends on their head structure, because some people just look weird because their heads are really lumpy on the top. But some guys can really pull off that skinhead thing. So yeah, that's the first thing I find quite attractive. Second thing I find attractive is really, really old guys that are really, really built and pale with a beard. A particularly long beard. And I like them with their hair being gray. Now, mind you, I probably would not date a guy who looked like that because, um, I'm 19. That's, that's, a, that's a little up there in age, buddy. You must be pretty old if you've got a gray beard and completely gray hair. Leave that for when I'm much older. So yeah. Also, other things I find attractive. Obviously, I find goths more attractive than non-goths. That shouldn't be too surprising. I like a guy who wears mostly black. So that shouldn't be that surprising either. I prefer my men at least taller than me. <laughs> if they are shorter than me, there's a problem. <laughs> I am a short shed. I'm only like 5'3". <laughs> I don't want to date a guy who is shorter than I am. And because I'm in pretty tall platforms most of the time, I prefer a guy who's much taller than me. Simply because if I'm wearing tall platforms and you're only a little bit shorter than me, well, taller than me, you're going to be a lot shorter than me when I'm in my platforms. And that that's, again, that's weird. <laughs> that is weird. I don't want to date a guy who's shorter than me. Mm -mm, too weird. <laughs> you're having fun, aren't you, cat? And I also prefer really deep voices. I love a deep voice. When it comes to singing, anything really. Deep voices are amazing. You're evil. I just made this cat. Ah. <laughs> You're evil and Jesus, you need your claws taken care of. Jesus Christ. You're eating my clothing. I just made that. You're evil. Evil, 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 evil. Ow. Evil. Go elsewhere. <laughs> Go play with Oat. Really? Oh, bugger. Pain in my butt. You're stinky. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. So that's what I find attractive. Physically. Because voice is physical as well. Then when it comes to personalities, um, what's attractive? Pro-choice. Person who believes in equality. Isn't racist, sexist, homophobic, culturalist, subculturalist. Who isn't hateful towards religion. Any of that stuff. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's dandy. And personally, I would rather... I prefer to date someone who's not Christian, but I really don't care. If they're not a pushy Christian, then I don't really give a shit what their religion is. Yeah, sure, it'd be way better to date someone who's the same religious beliefs as I am, because then we could be awesome pagans together <laughs> instead of awesome then instead of an awesome pagan and then atheist or a Christian on their own. I'd of course prefer a guy who can swim because I love swimming. It's kind of what happens when you're a fully trained lifeguard. <sighs> <laughs> Because I have dated guys, well, every guy I've dated actually was has been unable to swim, which has been kind of weird and annoying. It's just like, I can't go swimming with you. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you can't swim. Hell, one of them didn't even know how to do the doggy paddle. It's pretty sad. <laughs> it's really sad. <laughs> so yeah, other things I find attractive. Uh, well, I'd love their music taste to be the same as my music tastes. Like, I, I will, it's an off turn if you like country music. No, no, no. Country music is just terrible. I have no interest in that, and I don't want to listen to it either. <laughs> so if that's the only music genre you like, I guess we're not going to be listening to music together. Ever. Because <laughs> I don't want to listen to your music, and if country is the only music you like, then obviously you don't want to listen to my music either. Yeah, you're cute. I also prefer a guy who can dance, because I personally love dancing. 
So if you love dancing too, then we could just go dance together. Instead of me dancing and you just kind of off on the sidelines, talking with random people. It's better to dance together. Uh, other things. Yeah. yeah that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> now, on to what I think looks good on girls. Again, when it comes to females, I think thinner looks better, personally. But, really, regardless of your weight, be proud of your freaking body. Don't let anyone tell you that you shouldn't be proud of your body. You should be proud of your body no matter what. And the only time you really should worry about your weight is if you personally want to change your own weight for your own sake. Not for because someone else wants you to change your weight. Fuck what they think. Fuck what they think. And if the doctor says that you are unhealthy because of your weight, you should probably do something about that. If you're too heavy or too light, become heavier or lighter, depending on what one's the problem. Because regardless of whether you're too heavy or too light, both of them come with medical problems. And if your doctor tells you that your weight is causing you health issues, you should change your weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, cat. Completely took off my necklace. God damn it, cat. <laughs> So yeah, so of course, personally, I prefer my people to be thin, period. I find thinness attractive. I do not like body fat whatsoever. I absolutely hate it. It's icky. It's gross. Blah, and I don't want to touch it. I don't particularly want to see it either. But personally, it's your own fucking body. Be happy with your own fucking body. If you're not happy with it, then change it. Safely change it. Don't like eat tapeworms to become thinner or something. Or bleach your skin to become lighter. No, 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 that's... Th that's bad. Don't do that. That's really stupid. Don't ever do that. Seriously, don't do that yet. <sighs> ever. It's horrible. It'll kill your brain cells. And your skin. Especially your skin. <laughs> uh, and I don't really like short hair on girls. Unless only like half their head is short. Like half their head shaved and the other hair is long. That's cool. I like that hairstyle. Or like it's short on the sides and they have a hawk on the top. Or something like that. That's fucking cool. That's awesome. But, like, hair that is shorter than, like, here, I, like, hmm, 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 huh. Some girls can pull it off, but I don't think most girls can. I think most girls should stick with medium or long hair. But, again, this is what I find attractive. I find attractive, specifically. <laughs> Which really means it more applies to what I want to look like. <laughs> now, of course, goths. More attractive. Back home hair. Fucking attractive. Black hair. Fucking attractive. No. Hair. Hair with hair color. I hate blonde hair. And I hate brunette. I hate both those hair colors. I think they look absolutely horrible. Especially blonde. I just think they look so freaking disgusting. And personally, I don't know why, but I think they just look unnatural. I know they're pretty much the two natural hair colors. I know black and red, orange, orangey red, can also be natural, but yeah, blonde and brown are usually the two most common natural colors. And I personally think they look the most unnatural. I think pink hair looks more natural on a person than blonde. I think blonde is like, no, no, that should be on a golden retriever, not a person. No. And then brown's like, um, yeah. Hmm. Tree bark. Looks a lot better on trees, honey. Sorry. <laughs> so I don't really get it when people dye their hair brown or blonde. I think it just looks bad. I'm like, pick a good looking hair color. Pick like purple or red or black or something. At least that looks good. And again, what I think. What I think. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. But ultimately, like the way you look. Don't give a shit about what other people think. Even if you think I'm fucking awesome and you want to date me or something, don't fucking change yourself just so some chick that you like will like you or just come some dude that you like will like you. Fuck that shit. Don't do it because your parents don't like the way you look. Don't do it because anyone else doesn't like the way you look or wants you to change. Fuck them. Be your goddamn self. Wear what you fucking like. Screw everybody else. <laughs>